What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I wanna share with you a problem that some of you gun owners may have. It's a problem I think I've solved with some uh, success here and I'm excited about it and I thought I'd share it with you. First of all, the problem that you may have, like me, is you have a cool hunting rifle. This is my Howa 1500, love it. Um, but I have an aftermarket uh, Blackhawk Axiom stock, I believe it is. And the problem here, as you can see, is the stock bottom is flat. So unlike um, a lot of rifles where it's curved because it's kind of uh, hugging the barrel, you know, I don't have that. I've got this flat rifle bottom. And kind of one of the early solutions I looked into and tried for a while was this Harris number nine flat bottom adapter uh, kind of a clever clever piece of kit fits on there you adjust these to kind of brace it in place and then you would use your standard bipod and clamp it on and this curve on the adapter would fit that curved part of the bipod and keep the bipod from rotating around okay um, my issues with this so it doesn't work all that great. Uh, I feel like it is, it's kind of like Rick Job, back alley, auto repair. Um, you're kind of trying to use a lot of stuff to make something that wasn't meant to work, work. All right, so off my soapbox. And <clears throat> the reason I decided to do something about it is last time I had this out and I was about to shoot, I was pulling down these uh, bipod legs and boom, the whole thing kind of came apart. You can obviously put it back together. It doesn't take any tools to do that, but it's annoying. And I was like, you know what? I want something more reliable. So I bought this. Um, you are familiar with the VersaPod, I am sure. And they aren't cheap, but I want to give you a, a close look at how well this thing is designed. First of all, there are VersaPod adapters. This one is obviously for curved forends. This one is obviously for flat forends. When I got the bipod, it came with this curved one, which is fine, but I'm not gonna use it. As you can see right there, curved, and you can see on this one, flat. Um, I'll use this one for example, but it, it's kind of a polymer. It's like a giant block of uh, polymer that won't mar up your stock, presumably. It has the uh, post here to, to clamp into your, your nip. <laughs> And then on the bottom, it has this, this uh, nut here with the knurled edge that tightens the thing down, clamps the sucker into place. But then the beauty of it, it has a sling loop here. Um, when I had this one on with my Harris bipod adapter, I couldn't put a sling anywhere. And you know, if you're gonna carry a rifle, let's say you're a hunter and you're carrying a rifle out to a stand, um, you know, you wanna have a sling to carry it. And then you also want a bipod because if you're gonna set it up. so. Um, that, that's this is kind of nice because now you're gonna have both I'll show that to you then you have all of this all of the connecting and moving pieces are pretty pretty uh, sturdy metal I mean and I don't know if they're stainless steel or steel or um, some are milled aluminum or whatnot but as you can see even this piece here it, you know it all looks like it's blued I mean it, it it has some sort of finish on it and it's been pretty durable I've been banging this around on the post that sticks out in the front which is where the bipod attaches, I'll show you that. It has kind of an indexing nut here so that the bipod slips on and doesn't keep rotating around. And then it has this cutout here so that it locks into place. So we'll show you that. First thing you have to do is you have to take off the bottom nut here. All right, so I got it off. And then the attachment part is gonna slip out and it's just kind of this bracket. Kind of looks like a Glock sight. Um, with a uh, screw on the end and then it has this pin so what you're gonna do is you're gonna install this all right got it in um, it's actually pretty easy but you may have to kind of loosen up the uh, the mounting point just a little bit because it's pretty tight fit but I you just put that on and then drive the pin through and then you're going to um, put this back together the whole kind of assembly itself and this is going to slide up over the uh, the, the block that you just attached and you're going to use the nut here um, to not only hold it on but to tighten it down and this is going to do a couple of things it's 
going to draw that that uh, attachment down into this um, polymer block and press this polymer block up against your stock. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that now you have this oriented straight or however you want it. You know, I'm kind of anal retentive, so I want mine straight. And then you're going to tighten that sucker down uh, to whatever whatever pressure you feel comfortable with. I don't really expect this to, to move, but you could even put a little thread locker on there if you so choose. That is up to you, um, but that's on there pretty good. And then I still have my swivel sling loop there, so that's cool. Now you can see it hangs down there, and man, it's perfect fit, right? Polymer on polymer, so I don't have to worry about getting things too marred up, etc., etc. Now, the VersaPod bipod is kind of really where the magic happens. First of all, man, this is a sturdy freaking bipod. And the cool thing about this is they have it in different lengths, um, just like a lot of bipods. The mechanism up here appears to be very similar on all of them. And you can buy one and put these mounts on various guns. So uh, despite this and the, the adapters being relatively expensive in the bipod world, you don't necessarily need to buy a bipod for every gun. You can just put these on different guns and then just take whatever uh, by you know take the bipod off and put it on whatever gun you're using. Uh, a couple things I want to show you about this bipod is that the unit here you can see this um, you know it's it's milled out, but then you have this slot here, and that's going to meet up with this little indexing screw. So that is going to be uh, the entry point for that post. On the front here, you have a little lever. And this little lever has kind of a, a bladed edge here, which is going to crimp into the notch on the post. That's going to hold it in place. Then lastly, to keep the whole thing in place, this tightening screw moves a little block of steel. I'll tighten it up here and see if we can get it to come out and say hello. Um, you can see it right there on the bottom. Screw it up and comes in and then braces it again in that uh, in that indentation. So once this is tightened up, it's not coming out. You, you have to back this off to make sure you can get that post all the way into the uh, the top of the mount. Then the pot, uh, the bipod itself is pretty pretty clever. It's spring loaded so the, the legs want to stay spread, whose legs don't. Um, and then to close them, you just squeeze them together and lift it up and you can lock them forward or rearward. The why that is really awesome is especially, like I mentioned, if you have the sling mount here, you want to put this bipod on and let's say you want to carry it um, with you out on a hunt or what, what have you. Uh, you can just, there we go, got this sucker on, you can swing these these legs out forward put the sling on there you don't have to worry about it now if you want to make things a little compact and cleaner you could just squeeze these legs swing them all the way back and uh, lock them in the in the rearward position too and in fact if you were pretty clever you'd you'd move that so that you can get them really up there and tight so you have the choice of kind of moving them in any direction you want and when they're down they uh, they're great they're right there and you can obviously quickly deploy them and use them on the rifle. Now, the last thing I'll point out about the VersaPod bipod is that the, uh, well, actually take it off here again. And then again, taking it off is pretty simple. You just unscrew that bolt on the other side, push down on this lever that lifts up that uh, lifts it up out of the, the channel, um, is that the top here is actually, it looks flat, but it's actually like a ball in a joint. You can see it moving around there a little bit. So the good thing is you have a little bit of uh, side to side play. So if you're on uneven ground, not only does it move in here, but it moves along this hinge right here. So you, you have quite a bit of travel left to right. And then also, um, you know, it's not going to be so rigid that you can't move the gun and kind of uh, pivot on the bipod and, and acquire your target like this. So, um, you know, kind of moves all the way around, really flexible. Man, this is super sturdy. These legs pop out with authority. Boom! 
yikes and uh, they're adjustable I think this is the six to nine inch model rubber feet so super cool I'm looking forward to using it instead of just playing with it Peter Von Panda for the uh, Versapod with the flat bottom stock adapter out